Rejoice in hope. Welcome, good day and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is important in life. In Isaiah 49 verse 23 it says, You will know that I am the Lord. God promises, You will know that I am the Lord. Those who wait for me shall not be put to shame. Now what do you think if you hear that? I would like to hear from you. Maybe you think, I don't feel any of that. My experience is opposite. There is so much persecution, there are so much difficulties in life. And yet promise, yet God promises, you will know that I am the Lord. Those who wait for me shall not be put to shame. In fact, there might be a lot of suffering and persecution and all bad kind of bad things. Because there are so many bad people in the world who try to harm us and also from ourselves. We have also done wrong and sinned and not gone God's ways. And most of all, there is Satan who tries so many tricky ways. Why are those bad people, why are our own faults to harm us? That is why we might have a lot of suffering or troubled times. And yet God promises good times and he is stronger than all that. We shall not look at the trouble. We shall not look at the evil forces neither at bad people nor at evil spirits. God is much greater than them. And he is a good God. He wants the best for us. In fact, he wants us to have a good life. Even if we are in trouble, he still wants us to not give up and not be desperate or come into despair. In fact, he says, rejoice in hope. Romans 12, verse 12, Rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, persevere in prayer, always hold on to prayer. And also, yeah, let your hope keep you joyful, be patient in your troubles and pray at all times. And ask God to bless those who persecute you. Yes, ask him to bless, not to curse. Be happy with those who are happy. Weep with those who weep. Have the same concern for everyone. Do not be proud, but accept humbly duties. Do not think of yourself as wise. If someone has done you wrong, do not repay him with a wrong. Try to do what everyone considers to be good. Lord, we thank you for your word. And you know how difficult times can be. You know how troubled we sometimes are. We ask that you send your hope to us that we can rely on your word, that we look at your power and at your love and at your mercy, and that we look away from all the problems, from all the trouble, from all the evil things, from the bad things that we have done wrong, and from what Satan is trying to do, and what other bad people try to harm us. Help us to look at you, at your grace, at your glory, and give the glory to you. And we ask for forgiveness where we do not follow to you, where we turn away from you, go our own ways and do wrong and do not follow your word. We ask for forgiveness and that you bring us back on the good way that we head towards you and towards your eternal kingdom where there is joy forever and where we praise your holy name forever. Amen. <laughs>